I mean, I'm not saying these people are lying. I'm just at the end of the day, the person that you have is you, and you have to take care of yourself. So yeah. guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here if this is your first time of seeing my face my name is Aisha we'll be so delighted if you join the family I mean click on the subscribe button join our tribe you also want to put on that post notification so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post new videos okay yeah for my OGs you guys know now you know the drill like this video already like click on the like button everybody watching this you like this video already yeah. All right, guys. So yeah, this is a very, 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 very spontaneous video. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually been a while since I made this such. Like lately, I've actually been in a funk. And um, you know, generally, like according to my own term, being in a funk basically means you not being in your usual self. Like you're not in your usual sense, your usual mood. Yeah. Probably the things that you normally do that motivate you, the things that you do that gives you so much. You know probably some joy or energy you are not motivated to do that thing so yeah that is basically you know my simple english of the being in a funk means so that was the situation that i was in for a couple of days now you guys have actually not officially vlogged since we got back from london so i'm actually out of the funk mood yeah so which brings me to making this video because i would really like to share the things that I do normally to get out of my funk mode once in a while that it happens because you guys know we are humans there will always be a time here and there that you you are not feeling your usual and um as creator I feel like this is a part that we should show more on the media because it's not always better versus anywhere nobody has it all to get that so it would be so good if you can actually show this part of us as well once in a while you know the thing is no matter the situation that you had there are millions of people that are in that situation so that is what brings me to doing this vlog like i'm going to be encouraging a lot of people out there because i'm very certain that it's not only me that is in this situation yeah so anyways i don't want this intro to be too long so i'm going to get into the, into the tips of the things that i usually do whenever i'm in a funk but if i actually get to it i think the major reason why i was actually in this mood i'm using words because <laughs> I'm, the, I'm out of it already so i think the major reason why i got into being funk to being a funk for the couple of days was actually because of social media yeah basically from other creators you know coming into the year i see a lot of people that are like um they've had their vision board done for the year they've had their content planned out for the year like how now we are just in general we are just entering general how is it possible for you to have had your whole year plan out i mean i'm not saying these people are lying i'm just trying to be like it's not entirely possible some people might have done it quite all right but we know social media now people <clears throat> can like to put some spices here and there <laughs> so that for a moment for some days got me to be like i don't even know what i'm doing this january not the talk of the rest of the year like i don't, I don't even have my content planned out yet so i was now down because it felt like i don't know what i'm doing yeah so until yesterday actually in fact today basically until today that was when i was able to snap out of it and i'm like baby girl you know everything that you see on social media is not real it's not as glamorous as people make these seems so i felt like a lot of people are actually in this situation as well they see things online and they they just you know use it to totally define their life and it's not supposed to be so that is possible you could get you to be in a form for a couple of days the healthy one is to be there in a couple of days but i'm not gonna lie we all know some people would have been there for months yeah so it's not actually healthy so these are the things that i normally do to get out of it whenever it happens yeah so number one of them is the thing that i'm actually doing the, today which got us to be in this situation that we are and that is creating content so basically if you're in a funk just think of the things that you normally do that gives you joy creating content for me is something that actually gives me a purpose it, it, it gets me fulfilled it, it gives me a drive you know like when i create that content and then probably i'm editing it or even before i start editing it for 
for that day i feel fulfilled so yeah this is something that i usually do to get out of whatever mood that i have yeah so that's basically what i'm doing today and as you can see i'm already in a good mood so that's number one thing it could be anything at all you don't have to be a creator it could be anything anything at all that you'd like to do that gives you some level of joy yeah that should be what you should actually do whenever you're in a you know in a situation that's <clears throat> A two tip that I can give you is, you know, take that trip. Probably you are, you have, you have a particular place that you would like to go, but you've been postponing, post procrastinating for a while. This is the time that you should take the trip. Like, just get out of whatever zone that you are. Change, take the trip. It doesn't have to be internationally because we all know what the economy is saying. It could be you just going to. I don't know it could even be you going to a restaurant like just do something like take that trip to whatever basically just stand up get dressed look fine <laughs> and just take that trip yeah that's another thing that i can actually say that if you do it is definitely going to help your mental space okay then another thing that i can add to it is that you should get out of your normal routine you, we all know that literally everybody has the things that they do every day this is something this is a ritual for you this is what you do every day like every single day so being in a funk is the time that you want to get out of that routine do something different like just do something entirely different from the normal things that you usually do okay this i promise is going to really help you get out of the negativity neg any negative mood that you have it could also be getting like a relationship <clears throat> and this relationship it's it's not just about you know both gender relationship it could also be the same gender that probably the relationship between you and your friend is not going as you would like like the atmosphere the the conversation and everything is just not as healthy yeah this is a period that you want to like take a step back and um you know you could leave maybe girl you can leave the, the, the thing is you have to choose yourself over and over again because at the end of the day the person that will always be there for you is you okay so you have to just protect your mental space your mental energy as much and as long as possible so if it's that friendship that you need to walk away from walk away yeah protect your energy protect your space protect yourself yeah so then something else that i can actually drop as a tip is to read a book that's actually something that i would like to do more this year i have a particular novel book in mind that i intended to read because you know we just have to keep evolving and you guys know that reading a book apart from the fact that it's it um increases your intellect yeah it's it just helps you in all aspects of your life and we can't even overemphasize the need to read, to read a book yeah so if you can't just grab a book it could be romance it could be fiction it could be um you know historical any book at all that you think you'll be interested in just grab the book and start reading i promise you this is also good because reading a book is just you know you are going to be imagining everything in your head so it's literally taking you away from whatever situation that you are and it's placing you in that scene yeah so this is something that i think could be very very helpful then this will now take me to the next tip which is journaling and um this is something that i actually intended to do more this year i i have already started from um the making a vision board guys i've never ever made a vision board before comment down below if this is something that you've actually done or this is something that you usually do or this is something that you would like to do as well as for me it's not like the, i've never heard of what vision boards are but i've never had the reason to make one because i think majorly the reason why i was afraid to do this is because i feel like when you have things everything like defined it, it got it sort of keep you on your toes and um if you don't get to achieve that thing at the end of the day you get to be you know like discouraged and um you know but then on the other hand i got to reason that it actually pays for you to have that thing listed out like envision everything and put them together because um this is basically going to really keep you on your toes and before you know it you are walking towards your goals step by step baby step every day each and every day so basically write all the whys like when you are journaling write all the whys the positive and the negative ones yeah the reason why you are there and the things that you would like to be doing instead okay also 
the journaling should also entails you talking about all the things that you are grateful for in your life okay baby girl we have so much to be grateful for alhamdulillah you know you have <laughs> You have a roof on your head, you have food to eat, you have clothes to wear, you're not sleeping under the bridge, you're not in the hospital, they're not giving you food with spoon. It's not like your legs are hung up. You can he you can stand up, you can talk, you can hear, you can do whatever you want, like you can go wherever you want to go to. Like there are so many things to be grateful for, alhamdulillah. So if you can sit down, write out the things that you can even mention because we all know that god's mercy and grace in our life is in is is very efficient like it is not something that we can actually count we all know that so just do the ones that you can write them down and i, I can assure you before you even finish journaling it <laughs> you're already out of that funk mode yeah like this is something that i also want to try to do more this year you know there's something that they call gratitude jar i've actually heard of it a couple of years back but i've never <laughs> i've never had the reason to do that as well because i don't know but this year i really want to start trying different things so i feel like writing the things that you are grateful for like at the end of the year or at the beginning of the next day it gives you a sort of um you know like uh what what can i call this it's it sort of gives you a satisfaction and the feeling of gratitude to god for the things that he has done in your life so yeah love start writing it down journal everything down that's another tip of how to get out of your phone then I'm, another thing that i'm going to tell you like one of the tips is get go get doing do something be on the move yeah get doing could be you just walking down your streets it could be you immersing yourself in the sunset or the sunrise it could be you going to the beach it could be you going to a party if there's a party it could be you just borrowing your makeup remind yourself that you're a fine girl yeah that you're a fine babe and if you're a guy remind yourself that you're not bad as a man as well so just do something something that anything that comes to your mind at all like positive ones of course so trust me at the end of the day you're going to be so grateful that you did that yeah and um if it's something that if it's relating to job as well that probably the job is not is not serving you anymore do not be afraid to you know like um walk away or you take that you take the sick leave yeah if if it's a moment that you need for yourself to like you know get back to your usual request for a sick leave from work because see yeah, if anything should happen at the end of the day mm, we all know how it is they're going to replace you as soon and as fast as possible go for beach that yeah so you want to prioritize yourself prioritize your mental space prioritize your health prioritize your well-being yeah so okay another thing that i'm also going to add is you <laughs> eat that food eat that meal prepare that meal like it could be it could be food that is going to get you out of your funk yeah <laughs> that's also one of the things that i'm going to do today i'm going to prepare a special meal okay so it could be you going to that restaurant and just eat a very sweet delicacy it's a very sweet lovely delicious crunchious delicacy it could be that that will get you out of your funk yeah so basically just find find um happiness in the tiniest and in, you know the, the smallest of things you don't have to have millions of money in your account also remember that whatever position that you have there are people that are in the worst position and there are people that in a better position as well so whatever position that we have we are always in the middle okay so we will always be in the middle so we just have to be grateful for whichever position that we have alhamdulillah so anyways guys i think those are basically the things that i feel like you could do to get out of your funk whenever you know <laughs> the mood switch comes in yeah so at this point hope you have liked the video already if you haven't kindly click on the like button i would really appreciate that yeah also comment down below let me know the thing that the things that you usually do to get out of your you know funk whatever it comes because like i said earlier we are all humans we have our moments let us know what you do instead to get out of your mood if i've not mentioned it I, i'm definitely sure that i can't mention everything so kindly share please share down in the comment section and um, we're going to appreciate that yeah also again don't forget to like this video i think i was there to make it as a vlog before but i don't want it to be too lengthy so i'll probably have that scene 
of me creating content and how probably had it to another vlog like to an actual vlog but i think i'm going to end this one here because um, i don't want it to be too lengthy as i said earlier but yeah i'm going to be doing a lot of things today i'm going to be creating content for instagram i'm going to also for youtube yeah and i'm also going to you know cook very delicious little kissy yeah also i'm going to take that long bath you know just to immerse myself in that very uh, you know i'm already getting engrossed i'm getting carried away well any which way just do whatever you think that is going to make you feel alive and um you know just get you going get you in the right mood and um you know yeah because at the end of the day the person that you have is you and you have to take care of yourself so yeah any which way guys i'm going to end this video here so i can start my vlog because the sun is already setting gradually and i still have a lot of things to do so yeah i'm going to end this video here hope you have liked it already if you haven't mm -hmm. would really appreciate that so let me also know if you enjoyed this and um, let me know if this is something that you could really do and um yeah Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you all on my next video. Bye.